Well, it's the championship matchup in the Elite Boys competition as we have Riot Blue taking on Riot Light Blue. And these teams have battled so hard. And that rebound comes down. Solid rebound by Ricardo Lara. He tosses it out. And it's Christian Sari nailing the jumper. Sari's gonna take it again, throws it back, just misses. So if you're joining us for the first time in 360 hoops, each basket is one point. A foul is negative one point for the fouling team on the ground. Now if you do get fouled going up for the shot, count the basket for one plus one. The game is 10 minutes with a continuous clock as that ball falls in for Riot Light Blue. As they are currently up by one. Now up by two, he is feeling it from the distance. Now if the defending team gets the rebound, they have to clear the ball out of the circle. Now the circle is also out of bounds in regulation play. That ball stripped away by Trayvon Lee. He clears it, gives it back to Sari. Sorry, looking for Lee, he can't find him. Trying to find Luis Castro, but gives it back to Trayvon. Trayvon the Castro, high off the rim, no good. Rebound comes down the Sorry. Sorry goes up with it again, connecting. And he is feeling the range, that one rims out. Rebound comes down to Castro, just misses it, a foul. Whistle blown. And that was Jory Brake throwing up the little kiss, just missing. Trayvon, the hoop, doesn't go in, he's fouled. So that's negative one point for the light blue team. 360 hoops, major intensity. Shots go up every four to six seconds. It's a true battle of endurance. Ball movement so key. Castro looking for a shot, passes it out to Sari yet again. Sari. Rims that one out, rebound to Trayvon. He's fouled going up again. So once again, a foul is minus one point for the defending team. And we have just seven minutes and 20 seconds remaining. One other element of 360 hoops. With less than two minutes to go, each basket counts for two points instead of one. And the championship is on the line. There's Castro, nothing but net. Just inside the circle, count it. Here at the DME Sports Academy in Daytona Beach, the 360 Hoops Invitational. Trayvon down to Castro, ball stolen away and cleared. Riot, light blue, trying to fight back and count it for the hoop. That was Ellie Zaniga with the basket off the glass. Six minutes, 36 seconds to go. And Brake just misses it. Rebound coming down to Trayvon again. Trayvon clears it out. Passes to Castro. Castro with a sweet shot. Rims it in. Castro again. Can he make two in a row? Just misses. Brake flying in the air for the rebound. Clears the ball out just inside the circle. That one's out of bounds. It's Sorry with the monster rebound. He wants the shot, he'll take it, and Sari connects. Riot, light blue, in control here. Six minutes to go. Castro loses control of the ball, it's going the other way. So we had dozens of players competing throughout the afternoon, and now we are down to the elite championship game here at center court at DME Sports Academy. I'm Harry Chikma for the 360 Hoops Invitational. Sorry again, going up with the shot, just misses. Plenty of time remaining here, five and a half minutes to go. Break with the right hand floater, count it for the basket, that's one point. A little bit of a comeback now. Both these teams coming from the same club, the Riot Club. So, so Riot Light Blue versus Riot Dark Blue. 
Rebound coming down to Trayvon Lee. Trayvon to Castro as less than five minutes remain here in the championship. And Trayvon hits the back of the rim and count it for the basket as Dark Blue remains in control. Uh, another ball coming in from the consolation and they'll keep playing. And that ball rims out. Castro rips down the rebound. He goes up with it. And it's Joey Brake with the big rebound. Eli Zaniga on Castro with the crossover, the shot. And that one rims out. Trayvon Lee with the rebound yet again. Just over four minutes to go. Castro, nothing but net. Here in 360 hoops, as I mentioned, every point is worth one. With less than two minutes to go, points are worth two. And they run a continuous clock here, so it's non-stop fitness and stamina. Hoop and one, count it for two points. Bragging rights on the line here in Daytona Beach. And Joey Brake has really shown the effort in this championship bout. You can see he's finally starting to feel winded. Shane Bray and Anthony Gomez, the co-founders and creators of 360 Hoops. And the DME Sports Academy doing a great job as the host. As now three minutes and 19 seconds remain. What a move there. That's what makes this so difficult. Trying to defend three hoops simultaneously. Trick shots at a premium. And that ball goes out of bounds. A huge and costly turnover. Dark blue trying to stay in control here. And that's Ricardo Lara. Not a second goes by without more intensity. Only 2.41 remaining. Ricardo up with it. Gets his rebound and count it. Luis Castro taking another shot. That one misses. Trayvon Lee gets the rebound. Back to Ricardo. Ricardo feeling that short jumper. Count it from three feet out. And Castro with a quick clear. And this one could be out of reach. But remember, with two minutes remaining, Baskets are worth two points instead of one. As Ricardo Lara gets the rebound. Smart to take some time. There's no shot clock here, so Dark Blue can really run the clock down. All right, two minutes. Ba baskets are double points. How about that nice behind the back no look pass from Ricardo to Castro? 140. Three to go, clock continuing in this championship battle. 360 hoops, dark blue in control. Behind the back and Castro to Ricardo for yet another jumper counter for the deuce. And right now, dark blue in control. Looks like a foregone conclusion that they are going to run away with this title here in Daytona Beach. Eli Zaniga with the shot for two. Oh, four consecutive points. And this one's getting tight. Rebound comes down to Trayvon Lee. 54 seconds remaining. Castro now on the outside. Christian Sari misses. Rebound goes out of bounds. It's headed to the light blue team. There's Zaniga, sorry, with some solid defense. Major possession here. Counter for the foul. Great defense there, the rejection. 20 seconds to go. Counter for the deuce. What a comeback. And light blue now in control with five seconds to go. 
What a turnaround. And that is your ball game, everyone. But in the end, it's Riot Dark Blue as your champion. Trayvon Lee, Ricardo Lara, Luis Castro, and Christian Sari, your winners of the 360 Hoops Invitational Boys Elite Bracket at DME Sports Academy. What an effort. They are your champions, and we will be right back after these brief messages. Championship now, the 360 Hoops Invitational. Harry Chickma joining you in Daytona Beach as we have the Orlando Mets in the light green taking on Riot Blue, of course, in the dark blue as A.J. Rouse goes up off the glass, count it for the bucket. Oh, they're not counting that one. With the ball now, Christian Sari goes up that rebound, goes out of bounds off the green team from Orlando. So the rules here, quite intense. Balls, shots go up every four to six seconds. The clock consists of two 10-minute halves continuously running. Baskets count as one point as that one is good from Luis Castro. Now if you're fouled and the ball goes in, you get the point and another additional point. Meanwhile, if the defense fouls someone on the ground, it's a minus point for the defense. You lose a point. So here we go, nine minutes remaining in the first half here in the championship. And there's a foul, Castro, with a heavy foul, player on the ground. Taking some time here. Coach comes out to help. And that was a hard foul. Three sixty hoops invitational here. The finals, the championship. As that ball goes in, AJ Rouse with the hoop and the foul, so he gets credit for one point and one. So this is the title match of the boys' elite bracket. And the way this goes now is two ten-minute halves. The clock runs continuously; it never stops. We have Riot Blue taking on the Orlando Mets. The Mets in the light green as that ball's off the glass. Christian, sorry for Riot Blue. Malik Moy with a nice crossover. Malik goes in and count that basket for one as eight minutes remain here in the opening half. So each hoop counts as one point. With two minutes remaining, the baskets count as two points. 360 hoops, an absolute Battle of attrition, teamwork, and agility as A.J. Rouse with the sweet move. Rebound coming down to Trayvon Lee. He kicks it out to Christian Sorry. That ball's off. Chris Santiago clears it. Santiago to Malik. Moy Malik. Back to Rouse. Rouse with a sweet layup. Gets his own rebound and count it. Short little fadeaway there for the Orlando Mets. And that's Luis Castro missing as Malik Moy clears the ball outside. So every time you get a rebound, you have to clear it outside of the circle. That circle's also out of bounds. Christian Sari with it goes up. He's feeling the range, gets his own rebound and count it. And Riot Blue has been playing great basketball thus far throughout the championship. Just under seven minutes remaining in this opening half. Malik Moy goes up. Christian Sari with the rebound. And he loves to take that shot and he's feeling it now. And that's one thing the Mets don't want to have happen. Once Sari gets hot from the outside, Riot Blue is very hard to defend. 
Ricardo Lara with the rebound. Back to Sari. Sari up yet again, and he connects. You know, I spoke to Christian before the game. I said, what's your goal? He's only a junior in high school, and he said he wants to play Division I hoops, getting recruited by a number of teams. Such a disciplined player. A.J. Rouse now throws it up. Rebound comes down to Moy, and Moy gets it. And these are really solid players, a lot of potential. College and pro potential here. As 360 hoops, the most innovative sport out there. Bayron Horn with the ball, coming back into the game. He was hit hard with an early foul. And nice move there. So tough having to defend three hoops. Luis Castro, Castro up with it. It's off, rebound coming down to Santiago. He clears it. Bayron with the shot, it's off. AJ Rouse yet again, tries to get his own rebound. Blue ball, they get fouled. Now remember, the team that is fouled gets a little advantage because it's one minus point for the defending team. Ricardo trying to fight down low. Ball comes down the Rouse, goes to Santiago. From the distance, he misses it. Laurie with the rebound. And he really loves to take that shot, and why not? He hits it yet again. you got to play defense on Christian Laurie. He's so deadly from the distance. He gets the steal, and... The Orlando Mets trying to fight here in the championship. Still plenty of game to go, plenty of clock. Four minutes and 38 seconds. There's A.J. Rouse with a sweet move, count it for the bucket. And then Lori yet again, that one's off. Nice save there from Santiago, gives it to A.J. Rouse, one of their stars. Rouse taking some time off the clock. Green ball. Ref's a little, <laughs> nice play there. Ref's a little generous there. Looks like Rouse may have stepped out of bounds, but he was clearing the ball. And you see the innovation on the production here for 360 Hoops, a vision of Shane Bray and Anthony Gomez, the co-creators. They have the referees wearing cameras on their waist. Beautiful shots as Rouse goes off, and what a play. You know, having to speak to all these players before this game, they said, we love this sport because it's just the versatility, the trick shots, the camaraderie. Trayvon Lee gives it up to Luis Castro. Castro, a crossover, goes up, just misses it, but Lee is there for the putback. And that's huge for Riot Blue. They need Lee to get into this game. He's been quiet thus far. Three minutes, 10 seconds to go. Byron with the play, gets fouled. Santiago in the post. A little bit of a mismatch here. Good defense from Lara. But Santiago swishes it, nothing but net. That's a tough shot in front of Lara. Now in the post, and he's fouled. Two thirty to go, opening half. Lara, how tough is he? A strong force down low. Santiago with the inbounds. Bayron Horn throws it up, and he connects. So many different options with the three hoops. Luis Castro now. Rims it out, tries to get his own rebound. Ooh, goes up strong and AJ hits the ground hard, but he's gonna get up. Two minutes remaining in the first half of this championship matchup, DME Sports Academy. Remember, with less than two minutes to go in the game, Counts, points count double points. But we're still here in the first half. And AJ is so strong. 
He wants this championship. Castro trying to answer with a drive of his own. He does it. And these players have so much experience in the sport of basketball. And they love what 360 Hoops has to offer. Gives them that extra focus that helps them on a standard basketball court. Bayron Horn with the rebound. He draws it out. One more minute in the first half of this championship. And there's Horn with nothing but net. What a sweet fade away. These teams giving it their all. Castro with a sweet shot. Quick turnaround as 40 seconds remain. Clock ticking. You have to love the continuous clock. It keeps both teams on their toes. Bayron Horn with a sweet drive and it's good. What talent out here. And again, Trayvon Lee is such a strong force. He needs to step it up here for Riot Blue as Santiago rips down the rebound. 19 seconds to go. And there's a sweet J. 10 seconds in the half. And there's Castro with the putback. A big shot, most likely sending this one to the half, but the momentum ends with the Orlando Mets. As we go to halftime, a heavily contested battle. We will come back with 10 more minutes to go for the championship here in Daytona Beach. has a possibility to get a lot of kids active as PE coaches, that's our goal. What's unique about it is, is that if a kid has been playing basketball for quite some time, it puts a unique twist on it. It's a lot of workout, more than basketball for sure. A lot of competition, a lot of drills, a lot of working on your shooting. With 360 hoops and with the way games are played, it's just as easy a workout as it is a recreational sport. They get to play more, they get more reps in. The more, uh, more they get to shoot, the better. Great way to meet new people, great way to have some fun while still playing the sport that you like. You want a basketball routine? You usually have a full. All right, here we go. You good? Second half of the championship here of the boys elite division as we have Riot Blue taking on the Orlando Mets. If you're just joining us, I'm Harry Chickma. You're at the DME Sports Academy, Daytona Beach. The Orlando Mets in the light green, they're currently up 21 to nine. Now, the good news is for Riot Blue, a couple things. Each basket is worth one point. Now, if the defending team makes a foul, it is negative point for the defending team. So, the Orlando Mets just lost a point there due to a foul on the ground. Secondly, points are all, then there's and one, count it, a hoop and the foul, that's two points. So just like that, Riot Blue is only down by 10. Nine minutes to go, continuous clock, meanwhile, with two minutes remaining in the game, baskets count as double points, so it's always close. Rebound coming down to Malik Moy. And what a sweet move there. Just missing the highlight reel basket. Ball's out of bounds, it's going to Riot Blue. 
Eight minutes, 45 seconds to go for the championship. A 10 point deficit as the Orlando Mets are in control. You're watching top college athletics here. Hooping the foul again, cutting the deficit to eight. And what I said was you're watching top future college stars. Division one prospects, but they're playing 360 hoops as Bayron Horn connects. 22 to 13, Orlando up. Just about eight minutes to go here, second half for the title. Again, hoop and the foul. Ricardo Lara unstoppable as he cuts the deficit to seven. Ricardo the big fella paying dividends. Foul on blue, so that's minus one point on the scoreboard. So it's 23 to 14 Orlando, as Christian Laurie will look to inbounds. Christian has been feeling it from the range. Seven twenty to go, Riot Blue needs to step it up here. Another foul, and another and one. Ricardo Lara is a one-man wrecking crew. He cuts the deficit to five with seven minutes to go. He's been unstoppable. I'm Harry Chickman, Daytona Beach. You're watching the 360 Hoops Championship, and it's crunch time here. Orlando Mets up 24 to 18 with 6.50 to go against Riot Blue. If you're just joining us, 360 Hoops, the most innovative new sport out there. Ricardo misses that one. Byron with the jumper, and it's good. A key shot there for Orlando, extending the lead to seven. Riot Blue really needs to step it up here if they wanna have a chance. Now, as mentioned, with less than two minutes to go in a game, points are double. They count for two instead of one, each basket. So that does give Riot Blue a chance to fight back. Still plenty of time. That ball's out of bounds, though. Going the other way to Orlando and the Mets. This event started with dozens of teams. We're down to our final top six competitors. Bayron Horn with a sweet layup. Eight point deficit here. Christian Laurie with the inbounds. He gets it to Luis Castro. Castro back to Laurie. Laurie off the glass, count it, hoop and one. That's two. So just like that, Riot Blue only down by six with 524 to go. And that clock keeps ticking in 360 hoops. This is a tight game. Five minutes to go here, seven point game. Going down again to Ricardo Lara. He's who, it looked like a foul, but no call. Bayron Horn. Looking for Malik Moy. Malik with the crossover, taking some time, killing time off the clock. Smart play, working the perimeter, now drives in. And that one's up and good, a key basket, extending the lead to eight for Orlando. You can hear a pin drop in here as the few spectators are watching with anxiety, watching their favorite teams as they know a championship is on the line. AJ Rouse with the inbounds. Malik misses, four minutes to go here. Seven point ball game, Ricardo Laurie to Trayvon Lee. Back to Laurie, he throws it up and misses it, just rims out of bounds. Bayron driving in. That's off, rebound to Laurie. Less than four to play. Trayvon Lee, he wants it and he's got it. Like I said before, it's so key for Lee to get 
hot in this game for Riot Blue. And this is a six point ball game with 3.40 to play. Malik Moy drives in yet again and he has been tough. Count it for the basket. Ricardo down low fighting for it and he's just unstoppable. Still a six point game, 3.22 to go. Malik coming out of the game, coming in will be Chris Santiago, fresh pair of legs as three, 13 remain, and it's a six point game here. Orlando up, Orlando in the green. AJ Rouse dribbling. Rouse really hugging that outside line. He misses it. Luis Santiago grabs the rebound. Santiago tosses to Laurie. Laurie down to Ricardo. Ricardo yet again. He gets his own rebound, and what a force down low. The beauty of 360 hoops, you have to defend three baskets. What an exciting game. Five point deficit, 238 remaining. Orlando trying to hold on for the title. Castro with the rebound. Laurie's gonna clear it out. Ricardo down low yet again. And what a player he is. And it is now a four point game, 2.16 to go. Remember, with less than two minutes to go, baskets count by double. Ricardo again. College coaches are watching this guy with a Hawkeye, great player. Okay, two minutes to go now. So that's a foul, so it's minus one point for Riot Blue. So Riot Blue currently down five with 147 to go. Now baskets are worth two points instead of one. Oh, key miss here. Trayvon with the rebound. And that's a key air ball. Laurie with the putback, counted for two. Three point game now with 90 seconds remaining. This is crunch time. Chris Santiago puts it up, misses. Key rebound, Laurie's gonna clear it. 1.15 to go, it's good. So it's a one point ball game. And what a comeback. Down by double digits at the half, but now it's still a three point game. Three point game, exactly one minute to go. Castro. to Trayvon, Trayvon to Castro, 50 seconds to go. Laurie now. And that's missed. AJ Rouse goes up with it and it's a foul so it's gonna be a minus point for Blue as the clock continues to tick. Blue now up by four with 30 seconds remaining. Couldn't get any closer than this ladies and gentlemen for a championship on the line. 360 Hoops Invitational. Clock continues to tick. As the clock stops, less than one minute to play, they stop the clock in this situation. 16 seconds, four point game. AJ Rouse trying to seal things, misses it. Clearing it is Ricardo. Ricardo to Laurie, Laurie goes up with it, count it. It is now a three point game, four seconds remaining. Bayron seals the deal and that's the ball game. The Orlando Mets are your champions. 33 to 28 the final. The winners of the 360 Hoops Invitational. What drama here at the DME Sports Academy as Orlando is your champion. And for the rest of the staff, we are going to end this broadcast in style and it has truly been an amazing atmosphere here in Florida. I'm Harry Chickma, thanks for joining us and that is your 360 Hoops Invitational, so long from Orlando.